Elon Musk is the world's wealthiest person. But unlike your proverbial decadent, who relishes in boasting extremities like the world's longest luxury yacht, or the world's most expensive private plane, or perhaps flashing the latest eye candy vehicle straight from a Lamborghini catalog, Musk's pleasures are a little more eccentric. Why? Because unlike most of us, they stretch far beyond the borders of our planet. So it's no surprise to see how ecstatic the billionaire was that NASA's James Webb Telescope had just published its first set of pictures of the abyss beyond our known galaxies. Pictures that show just how massive and breathtaking our universe is. On July 13th, Musk took to Twitter to communicate his enthusiasm for this prolific breakthrough. He said, Excited about at NASA Webb potential. Musk, who is undoubtedly one of the most influential figures in the aerospace industry and a well-known champion of interplanetary travel, marked this event as a significant milestone in our quest to conquer the galaxy. And rightly so. Finally, we have a telescope that can capture over seven times as much interstellar light as its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope. Another glaring difference between the two telescopes is that, unlike the Hubble, the Webb is equipped with a series of high-tech cameras, as well as other aerospecific measuring instruments capable of detecting the thinnest of infrared light and heat radiation. That's not to say we're taking anything away from the Hubble. In its heyday, the Hubble Space Telescope was a magnificent product of human design and ingenuity. It gave us some of the most breathtaking captures of the universe beyond our knowledge and imagination. However, 30 years on, its long-held title as the most powerful telescope in Earth's orbit has come to an end, and deservingly so. As the universe continues to expand, light that was regularly in wavelengths visible to the Hubble have gradually begun to disappear from its line of sight. It was high time humanity advance to a more powerful telescope that could help us see the cosmos and beyond. And the James Webb Space Telescope was the answer. These pioneer images signal a new era of space exploration, as they present the universe as having much greater depth and clarity. But that's not the only reason they're so significant. These images also give us a glimpse into the history of the universe's birth, a topic that Musk has flirted with from time to time. In fact, these images display over a thousand galaxies, with one of them believed to be as old as the Big Bang itself. Itself. As NASA itself put it, sneak a peek at the deepest and sharpest infrared image of the early universe ever taken, all in a day's work for the Webb telescope. Literally, capturing it took less than a day. This is Webb's first image released as we begin to hashtag unfold the universe. The first image, known as Webb's first deep field, contains a photo of the galaxy cluster SMACS0723, which was later reviewed by President Joe Biden. This color-rich image contained a series of distant subjects objects, including the Southern Ring Nebula, Stevens Quintet, and the Carina Nebula. NASA further went on an active social media campaign promoting these images using the hashtag UnfoldTheUniverse. They posted tweets such as, Is anyone else starstruck? and Our faces right now, revealing how magnificent the images were. Launched in December 2021, the Webb Telescope is currently orbiting the Sun at around 1.6 million kilometers from the Earth, in a region of space known as the Second Lagrange Point. This new observatory pooled resources from the US, European, and Canadian space agencies. The construction and successive launch of the Webb Telescope is believed to have cost northwards of $10 billion, making it one of the most expensive scientific projects ever completed, and just a few billion dollars shy of the Large Hadron Collider at CERN. Webb was specifically designed to see infrared light in the universe, light which, even at longer wavelengths, can easily be observed with our eyes. In only six months, the telescope has enabled us to look deeper into the universe and detect light as far back as 13.5 billion years ago. While Musk did, at first, acknowledge the telescope's immense potential after the release of the images, he chose to surprisingly downplay them only two days later. On July 15th, Musk posted quite the controversial picture with the jibe, Nice try, NASA. The photo in question displayed a kitchen slab that contained a black and white cosmic-like pattern. The slab's patterns were arguably identical to those of the image reportedly captured by the Webb telescope. The controversial tweet raised a flurry of banter that either took a jab at the SpaceX boss or supported his egregious statement. One critic wrote, Why don't you just retweet instead of cropping? Takes less effort. Which confirmed that Musk had, in fact, borrowed the jab from another Twitter follower, my uncle's meme stash, and went through the painstaking process of cropping it instead of just retweeting the entire meme. Musk has been known to be quite the stubborn fuss, even recently highlighting how he sees YouTube as a non-stop scam ad, with the knowledge that he could easily afford the YouTube premium 
option if he wanted. And while Musk has vacillated from highlighting the web's immense potential to now downplaying the telescope's significance, the telescope has captured some breathtaking constellations. Of course, we have to begin with SMACS0723, a large cluster of galaxies popularly known to astronomers as the gravitational lens. This cluster of galaxies bends and magnifies light, and as such, appears to be much further away than their true distance. Visually, they are represented as red arc-like structures, and some of the light from these arcs has traveled up to 13 billion years to reach us. This was then swiftly followed by the Carina Nebula, considered one of the largest and brightest nebulae in the sky. It is situated approximately 7,600 light years from Earth, and it consists of massive clouds of dust and gas where new stars are forming. Astronomers popularly refer to it as the Cosmic Cliff, and its capture by the Webb Telescope is extremely mind-blowing. And then, the Southern Ring was photographed, a muse for the uber-popular coffee tables we now see being designed by artists in Europe. In essence, the Southern Ring consists of an expanding sphere of gas and dust that's illuminated by a dying star in its center. With its impressive size, the Southern Ring is nearly half a light year in diameter and is located more than 2,000 light years from Earth. While it is classified as a planetary nebula, it has nothing to do with planets. The name was a slight mistake adopted from early days of astronomy, when telescopes did not possess the kind of raw power and resolution that they have today. Webb also captured Stevens Quintet, a galaxy group located in the Pegasus constellation. In fact, Stevens Quintet is well known to be the first compact galaxy group discovered. What's so intriguing about Stevens Quintet is that of its five galaxies, four of them are engaged in a close shave of cosmic encounters. Using Webb's groundbreaking infrared sensitivity technology, scientists were able to examine distinct features of the galaxy group to study, a milestone that under Hubble was considered practically impossible. And to top it off, Webb displayed its capability to detect planets that are far beyond Earth's atmosphere. For example, take a look at this picture. While it is, by all means, unattractive, it shows the telescope's high-power spectroscopy in a nutshell. Spectroscopy is all about splitting light into different component colors. This spectrum was obtained from the atmosphere of WASP-96b, a giant planet that is located approximately 1,150 light-years from planet Earth. The planet's atmosphere resembles that of our immediate neighbor in the solar system, Jupiter. And just like its contemporary, WASP-96b is a large, gaseous sphere. In fact, so advanced is Webb's data collection on this planet that scientists were able to detect stunning precision molecules in its atmosphere. Unfortunately, WASP isn't the kind of planet tailored to supporting life. For one, it's extremely close to its parent star, and therefore, searing temperatures form part of its unforgiving climate. However, this presentation signifies the important role that Webb will play in the near future, helping us to potentially discover planets that have a similar ecological structure to planet Earth. And, who knows, maybe discover extraterrestrial life as well. In any case, Elon Musk might just find himself working closely with NASA to map out a clear view of his expeditions to Mars, and, potentially, to other planets. With such a powerful telescope now accessible to mankind's ambitious plans for interplanetary travel, we're super confident that Musk's newfound stance about the Webb telescope should soften. For now, let's enjoy these stunning pictures of the abyss beyond, shall we? And until next time, welcome to the future.